Okay, bye. Hey guys, it's Jasmine and that was Puppy. And today we are gonna talk about a question I get all the time. And that is, what is the best brand of cat food for your cat? Before we get started, happy Cattober, as you can see. If you are into cat stuff, including cat nutrition and raw cat food things, or things for humans like fitness and nutrition and whatever else I feel like posting, then go ahead and click that subscribe button below because we do put out a new video every catter day. So I get the question a lot of what is the best actual name brand of cat food? Is it Hill's Prescription Diet? Is it Rachel Ray's Pet Food? Is it Friskies or whatever else that happens to be on the shelf? And the truth is the name that's on the packaging of whatever food that you or your cat are eating does not matter as much as the actual ingredients in the food itself. Just like with human food and especially foods that are pre-packaged or commercially popular. It's not simply about trusting what these companies are telling you is good for you. Of course, any company that tries to sell you food is going to tell you that it's amazing because what are they? They are ultimately a business more than concerned with your health. So they are trying to make a profit. And obviously with the larger companies, it's the livelihood of thousands of people who might be working for these companies. Now, I'm not saying that they are necessarily flat out knowingly lying to you guys as the public and, and us as consumers, but it's important to understand that oftentimes the super popular and ultimately cheaper commercial brand foods are prioritizing sales more than your health and well-being. I talk about this more in my book, the grocery store tour guide and nutritional workbook in the case of supermarkets and how they try to influence and manipulate what you think you need simply by the packaging itself and how it looks and the labels that they put on it or even where they place certain things in the supermarket. Now remember that many of these companies are well aware that what they are offering is a cheap commodity. It's inexpensive to produce, especially in mass amounts and to sell for affordable prices. And it's in their advantage and priority as well to make such products shelf stable. So that normally includes adding a bunch of preservatives and things that aren't necessarily the best to ingest all the time. And I think it's safe to say that these companies are aware that these kinds of products will keep cats or humans alive and technically feed them. I I don't know how I can do air quotes with these without providing legitimate nutrition. So it's a case of being literally filled up but not being nutritionally fulfilled. These companies are also aware that most people in developed countries or Western civilizations look for convenience over quality most of the time, whether it's a matter of simply not being able to afford anything different or not being educated enough to know what is actually good for you. This is why you always want to do your best to take that extra step and due diligence to educate yourself as much as possible. And that way, you don't have to depend on marketing tactics or even popular opinion when it comes to anything because those external type things do not dictate what is best for you. Only you know what is best for you. And I digress, I get really into this, especially when I have cat paws on apparently. But in the case of this video, only you know what is best for your cat and your cat depends on you to decide what's best for him or her. So in a nutshell, when it comes to what brand of cat food is best for your cat, all you need to do is flip that package over and look at the nutritional facts and specifically the ingredients. Now, if you are new here and not familiar with raw cat food or the prey model diet, then I will leave links in the description below because I have an entire playlist helping to educate you on that which is the best diet inherently for your cat to honor his or her instincts. And that includes recipes, 
nutritional tips, free recipe and portion calculators, and a whole lot more. Now, when it comes to store-bought food, the top two two things that you want to look for is the freshness factor or the shelf life and the moisture content. The third thing that I'm just gonna give up on that. The third thing you want to look out for and the one thing that you do want to do your best to avoid is unnecessary carbohydrates, fillers, or grains. Like we've talked about in many videos around here, cats are carnivores. Their bodies have adapted and are built to eat meat and they don't have the necessary digestive enzymes in order to break down carbohydrates. Remember that your precious little feline fur baby's ancestors were desert wildcats that roamed around hunting and killing and eating other animals. And that included not only the muscle meat, but it included organs and contents of their stomach sometimes. And even though our little house lions at home are obviously very domesticated and very spoiled for the most part, if you think about it, you just can't argue the fact that they still maintain those inherent instincts. They still require the stimulation that mimics hunting, which is why it's so important to play with your cat. And if you haven't seen my video about playing with your cat, I will also link that in the description below. And they still require the proper nutrition and proper diet in order to get the optimal nutrients into their little furry bodies so that they can thrive and be healthy. This is exactly why raw food or the prey model diet is the best diet that you could be feeding your cat. And although making it yourself is very, very easy, and I show you guys how to do that in multiple videos, you can always go buy it because there are pre-made store-bought raw cat food that are typically found in the freezer section or sometimes the refrigerated section of specialty pet nutrition stores. That probably is the most expensive option when it comes to feeding your cat, but it's still an option. The next best option, regardless of the brand name, is going to be wet canned food. Because remember, moisture is vital. Like we've spoken about in recent videos, felines in nature typically get their hydration and water from their food and not from a separate source. This is why feeding your cat a moisture-rich diet is key. The next thing you wanna do is look for and avoid ingredients like brown rice, corn, oats, and other grains, which are often included in wet and dry commercial cat food. Again, not only do cats lack the digestive enzymes in order to break down and metabolize such foods, but eating such foods can also block your cat's system from absorbing other vital nutrients. One of these vital nutrients, for example, is taurine. And you may remember from my Importance of Taurine trilogy of videos that I mentioned there was a study that showed that when brown rice was included within some commercial cat foods, it measurably inhibited the absorption of taurine. Now, if you're asking, okay, so, but which brand of dry cat food is the best? Well, that's basically like asking which brand of cigarettes is the best. I mean, menthols are obviously more healthy than Marlboro Reds, right? Because they have mint and mint is fresh and fresh is healthy, right? By the way, the, um, the answer there is that no cigarettes are healthy. In other words, no dry food or kibble is best for your cat. If you have to feed your cat a commercial cat food diet, then always, always go with the wet canned food and also avoid anything seafood or fish flavored. Even if the ingredients in this wet canned food aren't up to par when it comes to what's best for your cat, at least it has the moisture content going for it and that is a step in the right direction. Remember, you wanna do the best you can for your fur baby with what you have access to and what you can afford and without turning into some crazy, anxious, neurotic helicopter cat parent. Just ignore the fact that I'm telling you all this while dressed up as a fluffy pink 
feline lady. But the fact is, although diet is incredibly important and a raw food or prey model type diet would be optimal for your cat, as long as you are providing them with the freshest and highest protein, moisture rich food that you can, you are doing a great job. Remember that along with diet and nutrition, there are health benefits to interacting with your cat, for example. Play with them to allow their hunting and chasing instincts to stay in tune. Brush them regularly and clip their nails. Remember to have scratch pads and toys accessible to them. Just like being productive and feeling like you have a purpose encourages humans to feel more fulfilled and ultimately to be healthier, believe it or not, it's pretty similar with cats too. So to sum it up, which brand of cat food specifically is best for your cat? No one in particular, because it's not what's on the outside that matters, but it's what's on the inside that counts. Yes, we're still talking about cat food, but that can apply to a lot of important life things. It's up to you to flip that package around and to evaluate whether or not the ingredients that are in that specific food satisfy your standards for what you want to feed your feline fur baby. Remember that raw cat food is best, but if you find a food that is in the freezer or refrigerated aisle, then that's a good sign that it's better quality. And remember that if you are feeding your cat wet canned food, even if it is commercial cat food, and that you're not feeding your cat any dry kibble, then you're on the right track. Just do the best you can to avoid any cat food that includes carbohydrates like corn, wheat, soy, and especially brown rice. All right, guys, please remember to click the thumbs Oh God, I don't have thumbs. Please remember to click the thumbs up below if you liked this video or found it interesting or helpful. And also please do share it with any cat parents you know. Also remember to click that subscribe button below as well as the little bell icon that's right next to it in order to get notified whenever new videos go up and brace yourself because every video this Cattober will have a different feline cameo. Look who it is! Do we look alike? Are you scared of me? All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Happy Cattober, and I will see you next week. Bye!